When it comes to marketing videos, there's no better platform than YouTube. Today, I'll teach you how you can use call to actions in your YouTube videos. In your YouTube Creator Studio, select Video Manager. As you can see, I've only got this one video on here. Once you've uploaded your own video, I want you to click on the Edit drop-down menu and select Info and Settings. On this page, if you click on the Call to Action Overlay tab, this is something that can come in super handy for building your email list. What you have here is the option to include a call to action for your viewers in an annotation like pop-up. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This call to action overlay is an ideal way to send people to your squeeze page. So go ahead and include a headline. Let's say, get your free report here. If you've got a product image, you can upload it here too. For the display URL field, you want to type in your home page or company website URL. This will create a link which people can click on. Then over here in the destination URL field, insert the link to your squeeze page. This way, whenever someone clicks on the link displayed, it will send them to your squeeze page instead. And you might want to uncheck this box here as diverting mobile users to squeeze pages hasn't been too successful anyway. And once you're done here, just hit Save Changes. And let's just play the video here to see how our call to action looks. And there it is. Now, when people click on this button here, instead of going to your home page, they'll be sent to your squeeze page. You can also insert call to actions with your annotation tab up here. To test it out, let's try adding an annotation somewhere here in the video. Just click on the Add Annotation drop-down menu and select the annotation type. And over here, include the text to display on your animation. You can say, hit subscribe now, or include a link to your landing page, whatever you want. You can also change this here, the text font, and all these other options. You need to also set the duration of your annotation over here, or you can do it manually just by dragging this bar. Hit apply changes and you're done. Thanks for watching.